Hi, I'm Janae Hayes, and I'm here with WDMTV at the Clash of the Superstars charity game. I'm here live at Coolidge High School in Washington, D.C. at a great event to benefit various charities across the Washington metropolitan area. Numerous NBA players in conjunction with D.C. native and basketball trainer Hanif Hill came together to provide an event that would entertain fans as well as earn money for a great cause. Today's roster is expected to include Kevin Durant, Michael Beasley, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, Kimball Walker, and a host of other NBA players. Needless to say, this will be a fun-filled event for all. So, I hope everyone enjoys. I'm here with Sacramento forward DeMarcus Cousins at the Clash of the Superstars charity game. DeMarcus, what does it mean to be to play in this type of game? Um, me growing up, I've always been a person that always wanted to give back. So, being able to play in front of the kids is something I always wanted to do. So, I was down for it. What's the major difference between when you played at Trinity maybe a month and a half ago and this game? Is it simply the char charitable factor that made you play in this game or just wanting to get some pickup in? Um, all of that came into play. Being able to play in D.C., being able to do it for charity. And, I mean, it's another good run, so I'm in. Now, we're going to flip uh, flip topics. What have you been doing in your off-season work workouts? I see that you're nice and trim, so what does that include? Um, I'm in D.C. working out with Keith Williams, so I mean, basically the same thing we did the last summer. A lot of running, a lot of skill work. Just working on my body. Ready for the upcoming season? Absolutely. Thank you. I'm here with former UConn All-American Kimba Walker. Kimba, we've seen you frequent other uh, summer leagues across this country this summer. Now, what made you come down and participate in this charity game this weekend? Well, Hanif, uh, I met Hanif in, in L.A., you know, doing something with Under Armour, and, you know, we became good friends instantly. So he, he told me that he was throwing this game together, and, you know, I want to play basketball. So, you know, whatever chance I get to play, uh, you know, I accept. So, you know, being that me and him good friends, you know, I just said, why not? And as far as games are concerned, what else are you doing to maintain your shape and your conditioning in the off season? Well, I'm just working out. I'm working out, uh, you know, daily. Um, just sticking to my daily routine, and you know, that's about it. You know, trying to stay healthy, trying to stay in shape. Thank you for your time. I'm here with Wizards guard John Wall. John, we know that you frequented quite a few summer leagues this summer. What made you want to come back and play for a charity game in the district? Uh, it means a whole lot just giving back to the community and the charity. It means a whole lot. It's just love. I just love playing basketball, so it's a great opportunity to be here. And in addition to playing games, what else have you been doing to maintain your conditioning for the upcoming season? Running on trade meals and uh, playing pickup in Vegas in the summer league. Uh, I work out in L.A. and Vegas, and uh, we get workouts in the morning. We play games at night, and then we get another workout later on. So uh, just trying to stay in shape. And what's, what's the one thing you've tried to improve on from last season? My jump shot. And uh, I've been making it more consistent. I just got to um, stay confident. That's the main thing is being confident. If you miss a couple, you just got to keep shooting it. Thank you for your time. In the sand blocker, you know. Satan conquered with his weak choppers. God out the general, now we the army, bro. Sent out to spread the good news about that Christ blood. We gotta stay alert, we gotta listen. Yeah. Why we pay attention? Let's release some tension. All ball status, if they go and get the wishing, I'm calling on Jesus. Now, now them demons missing. We I'm dining on the flesh, communion blood sipping. Hey, streets of gold, Holy Spirit whipping. We have a leak thick, one four four sleep in the book of Revelation. Now that's completely deep. You know, I lay my head down, I pray my soul to keep. We worship at the throne, we at the Father's feet. All boss, at all costs, Christ did it all. That's why he the boss, he paid it in his blood. He a real boss, sin loss, at all costs. All boss, at all costs. Christ did it all, that's why he the boss, he paid it in his blood, he a real boss, sin loss, at all costs, all boss, at all costs, Christ did it all, that's why he the boss, he paid it in his blood, he a real boss, sin loss. At all costs. Run the streets till I learn my lesson. One day I'm riding down the Ave with a Smith and Wesson get pulled over. 
I'm, I'm going to jail, I'm stressing, it wasn't luck, I'm still here. That's God's blessings. You're not a thug, cause you sell drugs and be racking. You're not a thug, cause you pimp bras and be dressing. But you a thug when you learn, then cipher the message. They not testing, but they guess I'm God's disciple to heaven. Got them wondering, T, how you still go hard? Cause I get it how I live, but I'm a man of God. No donations to the pastor, but you make it rain on the stripper. You tip her, so I'ma tip it. I show that four, five, no guns, that's the scripture. Jeremiah the prophet, forget the money, cars, and the girls. God first in my eyes, I'm the best of both worlds. Bars. All boss, at all costs. Christ did it all, that's why he the boss. He paid it in his blood, he a real boss. Sin loss, at all costs. All boss, at all costs. Christ did it all, that's why he the boss. He paid it in his blood, he a real boss. Sin loss, at all costs. All boss, at all costs. Christ did it all, that's why he the boss. He paid it in his blood, he a real boss. Sin loss, at all costs. Kevin, what does it mean to play in an event like this, giving back to the community? This was all about for me, especially in the summer, you know, giving back to the kids and just bringing my talents to the game. And we've seen you put on a show in every summer league across the nation. How does D.C. compare to the other summer leagues that you played in? Of course, because his home is a lot different. You know, I know a lot of people in the stands, a lot of people I connect with, so it's always a little different, but it's always fun. Now, I've seen you uh, expand your repertoire. I saw you do a jump hook uh, or a sky hook maybe about a couple of weeks ago. So what have you been doing in the off season? Just working on different parts of my game. Uh, I read a lot of the newspapers and people say I need to work on my post game, so that's all I've been working on all summer. So hopefully, uh, you know, it shows this season. Okay, well, thank you for your time. I'm here with Hanif Hill, the organizer of the charity game. Hanif, how did this event come to be? Well, I just thought it was a good opportunity by being a lockout to get these kids out and see these pros. I just made a couple of phone calls in a short period of time. Uh, I know a lot of them just by name and face, and I trained a lot of them. Most of them are from here, but the others that's not from here, I have a good rapport with them. So it was pretty much just a phone call. I have a lot of kids come out. You know, it was last minute. I wasn't expecting too much. We had a good crowd. We had a hell of a performance, a hell of a performance for a nice crowd and the kids. That's all it was about, giving back to the kids, letting them get the opportunity to see these guys up close and personal. Some of them never even been to an NBA game, so this is a perfect opportunity. Now, some of these, what are some of the charities that the money from these proceeds are going to go to? Uh, we went to National Capital YMCA, Cal Ameris YMCA. We went to Capital Sports, I mean, uh, Capital, Elite, Capital Elite Academy. We went Egos United, and we went uh, Sick Cell Foundation at uh, Washington, uh, Children's Hospital Center. Do you anticipate you'll be having any more of these events in the upcoming future? Yes, I do. Maybe in about another month. We're thinking about bringing Chicago to town with Dirk Rose and a couple of other guys. Okay, well, I look forward to covering that. WDMTV. I think. with Minnesota forward Michael Beasley. Michael, coming from the inner city, what does it mean to give back in a game like this? Um, it means a lot, you know, because, uh, well, it means more to the fans than it do to us, you know. Um, it's a lockout, an unfortunate lockout, but uh, basketball doesn't stop, you know. They love the game, we love the game, so we, uh, we're going to showcase our talent as much as we can. And watching you get up and down the court, you look in phenomenal shape. What have you been doing in the off season to maintain your level of conditioning? Uh, I can tell you, but I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> I've been, been doing a lot of, a lot on the beach, you know, um, been boxing a lot, been, been doing a lot of ballet. Don't tell nobody that. Don't tell nobody that. You just told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of ballet, you know. I've just been running a lot, just running, a lot of running. Well, when the upcoming, until the upcoming season comes, do you have any plans of playing in any more games? 
Somebody called me. So I, I, I didn't plan to play in today's game. You know, somebody called me while I was eating my eggs this morning. I asked if I wanted to play, and I told him yes. Well, you look great, so thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with Miles Rawls, commissioner of the infamous Goodman League. Miles, what does it mean to be a part of something that gives back to the community? It starts with the Goodman, and it's trickled down to events like this. Uh, it means the world. The kids can come out. They don't see pro guys because they can't afford it. They sit courtside and mingle with them, sign autographs. So Hanif did a good job today with this. Uh, and future events that's coming up due to the lockout affords the kids the opportunity to get close up to their favorite NBA player. Now, what does it mean to you to be selected to be the announcer for every single game that happens in this city? Oh, uh, that means a lot. You know, I, I earned my stripes, though. I started out with one mic, one speaker, so I earned my stripes. I take great pride in doing it, so when they call me, I take great pride in doing it. Now, what I would like to know, and probably everyone else that has ever heard you get on the mic, how did you hone your craft? Some of your things come right off the top, but most people aren't that funny. Oh, no, it's natural. Down at where I grew up in Bird Farm, you had to be a joner or you would get joned on, so you had to know how to defend yourself. So that all that other stuff came natural. Everything I do is natural, unscripted. Well, thank you very much. You do a tremendous job. Yeah. <laughs> this one is so cute. Thank you. Y'all all sister? Yeah. No. Don't that that's my, I'm cousins. Y'all are a pretty group of little girls. Thank yeah. you. I'm young ladies. I used to hate when people call me little girl. Not little. Oops. Sorry. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You guys have a good weekend. Y'all take it, y'all. What's up, baby? Thank you, dear. No problem. Those bigger shoes. I got it from Big Mike. The from the Timber Wars. <laughs> and, and the game has ended and the event was quite a success. The players did not disappoint as they wowed the crowd with an array of acrobatic dunks and athletic moves. Special thanks to Coolidge High School for the use of their facilities. Hanif Hill for bringing the talent together for everyone in the city to enjoy. And everyone else who made this event a success. This is Janae Hayes for WDM-TV. This is it.